we had a young lady get pregnant. I love even the framing of that. We had a young lady get pregnant by herself. No man involved, no father. The young lady did this thing. And we didn't tell her she couldn't go to school. Well, that's nice of you. Good. But we told her that she couldn't bring the baby to school. Hold up now. This man is on record multiple times opposing the expansion of child care in Crawford County, right? So you have to have the baby. You can't take the baby to school, but you also can't put the baby in child care. So I'm not exactly sure what Chuck Smith wants this young lady to do with the baby that apparently has no father. Uh, what about the baby, Chuck? Where do you want her to put the baby? Because we didn't want some shy little girl over here. Yes. Tell us how you're protecting the shy little girl. I can't wait for that. Look at how much attention she was getting. And maybe she said, gosh, I ought to do that too. So, uh, you know, so there were reasons behind it. Reasons behind it, you say. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that. Not that they, we didn't care about the girl that had the baby. We did. And uh, You cared about so, her. Uh, but not her education. At no point, I'm, I just can't not come back to this. At no point when they were graciously allowing the uh, young lady who had had the baby to return to class, at any point did anybody consider uh, that perhaps the young man had also sinned? And perhaps wouldn't be allowed to return to class? Like, is that, uh, or is uh, unmarried teen pregnancy sh solely a sin that attaches to the woman? Uh, the entire framework of this conversation is uh, disgusting. And look, you know what else is disgusting? We are still having this conversation in the year of our Lord, 2024. We are still arguing about whether or not we're not even at the, should teenagers have access to birth control? Should teenagers have ha access to reproductive health? We are assuming that uh, if the teenagers have sex, the teenagers will get pregnant and then they will be forced to carry that pregnancy to term. And then we are burdening them, not the fathers, but the mothers, uh, with a child that we will in no way uh, help that teenager support. And that is this man's entire worldview. And this man is who is representing Pittsburgh in Topeka. He is making policy for us in Pittsburgh, for Pitt State students, for Crawford County, for Girard, for PHS, for Colgan, for Frontenac, for all of us. And the reason why that is, is because local elections are boring. Nobody cares about local elections. We just care about the things that we see on TV. And that has to change because and until that change we are going to be stuck with the very well-meaning, very nice, uh, very the 1950s called and they need their football coach back, Chuck Smith controlling our access to health care, to child care, to education. And that can't stand.